Welcome back. Early voting got underway this week ahead of the March 5th primary here in Texas. It comes as Governor Greg Abbott and Attorney General Ken Paxton are campaigning against some of their fellow Republicans in the legislature because they didn't like how they voted on certain issues. So will the politics of retribution work in these primary races? I got some insight from CornReport.com Scott Brannick in tonight's Fox 7 Focus. Governor Abbott is upset at Republicans who voted against his school choice proposal, which fell short mm -hmm. several times last year. Talk to us a little bit about the politics there and, and how that played out and what the governor has said about this. The governor spent about a year trying to convince Republicans, particularly in rural Texas, that a school choice or school voucher program would not hurt their school districts uh, and would be a benefit to parents across the state. But he just did not make the case, at least in, in the legislature. And I think uh, there are several reasons for that. The, the, the primary reason is uh, just a policy perspective from those rural Republicans who do believe that it would have uh, you know, deep and lasting uh, you know, harmful effects uh, for the public school system in their areas. Um, but to the politics of it, uh, the governor didn't choose to collaborate with Republicans at all. Instead, what he tried to do was threaten Republicans and uh, try to make them fearful of what he might be able to do to them politically during a primary. But I was reviewing the votes from when this was on the House floor, uh, the school choice initiative. But the governor, if he wanted to move this forward in the next legislative session, if he wanted the House to, to go with him on this, he'd have to win uh, a, a baker's dozen, 13 races um, to be able to get to 76 votes in the House, which is how many you need to be able to to pass something. He's just nowhere close to that. Let's talk about Ken Paxton a little bit. Obviously, a different situation, mm -hmm. but a, a similar tactic. Mm -hmm. uh, the attorney general obviously was acquitted in his impeachment trial, came out swinging, but he's still angry at GOP members who voted yeah. in favor of that impeachment. Uh, how, mm -hmm. how do you see that playing out? You know, Paxton is casting a much wider net than the governor because, as you know, in the House, the uh, the impeachment was the by the House was approved overwhelmingly with Democrats and Republicans, 120 votes plus. So for him to take out all those people is, I just I just told you how hard it would be for the governor to even beat 12. Uh, you're talking about way more races in which uh, the attorney general is inserting himself. I think it speaks to a larger um, a larger theme uh, in our politics right now which is the politics of retribution. Uh, with former President Trump in 2020, uh, his campaign turned into uh, you know something where he was mostly talking about the folks who he perceived as those folks who were going after him. The calculus will be different in a primary than in a general where Trump lost, uh, so this is an open question. Yeah, I mean, I was just gonna ask you, is this kind of, this goes beyond politics as usual as far as you can see, this mm -hmm. kind of level of just straight up vindictiveness? It is. Uh, you know, we have had what I would describe as a civil war within the Republican Party in Texas for at least um, the last 15 years or so. Um, and th there have always been a variety of issues that have divided Republicans. Uh, but when it comes to the impeachment of Paxton, um, this is really about, uh, you know, personal animus. It's more about what was done to him than it is about what is going on in the lives of voters. And that's where I think it may not work. That's where I think it may fall short. You mentioned kind of taking a, a page out of Trump's playbook, you know, mm -hmm. endorsing or unendorsing someone can, can have a real impact. How much of an impact does Governor Abbott or Attorney General Paxton, though, saying, I don't like this guy, I'm endorsing his or her primary opponent instead, how much of an impact does that have on voters? A couple of cycles ago in Republican primaries, you might remember that uh, Governor Abbott went after three Texas House Republicans who had displeased him about something else. At the time, the governor was popular with Republican voters in those districts where he was um, endorsing challengers to to, to those incumbents. Uh, but those incumbents were also popular in among Republican voters in their areas. Um, and so when that happens, it basically ends up being a wash. Um, if the governor's endorsing the other person, probably doesn't matter that much, but what might make a difference, and this is my reporting at quorumreport.com, the governor is pretty confident that as much as $1 million each is going to be spent against incumbents who displeased him about school vouchers, uh, and that money would be coming from third-party groups like Americans for Prosperity and other groups that want to see some kind of a school voucher program, that money could make the difference. Scott Braddock of quorumreport.com, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it.